was your journey always this linear you knew you wanted to do engineering and you came to engineering i know but i got distracted in the middle there was some things like it was the time i got distracted by contents and all the things i tried many things creating content playing games becoming a e-sport player but some things don't work engineering is about solving the problem not dealing with just making some infra or this Hi everyone my name is Hasmata and today we have Priyanshu with us who has cracked GSOC in his very first year of engineering Hi Priyanshu lovely to have you today So nice and thank you for having me here So hello everyone I am Priyanshu I come from a small village of Rajasthan Alwa and I am very happy to discuss about my journey So Priyanshu you tell me that you come from a small village okay then how did you think about engineering engineering okay but gsoc and everything is a big steps so walk us from the very beginning i know you had a grandfather who was into electrics and stuff Talk, walk me from there how did you find that inspiration your journey so let's start with my journey from my home itself my mm-hmm. grandpa was having a home lab mm-hmm. of electronics they have a lot of things mm-hmm. that i love to do i work with them then i got some idea from my schools and mentors they help me to move on their journeys like they help me to build some crazy mm-hmm. projects that nobody knows right now mm-hmm. how iot works in my coding journeys mm-hmm. so after that i work bit- between different fields and then i came to know about polaris then mm-hmm. coding came in picture mm-hmm. and then i get a perfect way to follow along my journey hmm. so then jiso gets in the pitch uh, like pick and then i follow that so was the was your journey always this linear you knew you wanted to do engineering and you came to engineering i know but i got distracted in the middle there was some things like you know hmm. about covid hmm. and that was the time i got distracted by the contents and all the things i tried many things creating content yeah. playing games becoming a e-sport player yeah, uh, yeah but some things don't work hmm. so like that i tried many things i tried for defense forces also i i did not try for j <laughs> <laughs> okay one thing you didn't try <laughs> that was the thing i missed yeah. and i think i sh- should get a chance to try it again that was not linear hmm. but if you see now it was a way which led me to this place hmm. and i am happy for this place that i got in this opportunity to do something that i love that's very interesting priyanshu yes. because you know sometimes we have so many options available for us we are very curious we try different things but people usually de- get demotivated when things don't work out but you have a very interesting mindset that i tried everything but it didn't work out but i'm glad it made me the person i am so but walk us through the journey it won't be that easy that you fail and you came to this mindset how was it for you to try a lot of things see it not work out but still be you know confident or believe in yourself to see the end of things so how i see engineering is not the branch where you just came and write code and mm. goes to your house but it's a place where you solve a problem you have a problem mm. that actually means to everyone that everyone is still in that phase mm. and you are solving for everybody for society mm. not just make to money or something mm. that's a by product but yeah when you are going to solve a problem you mm. know Hmm. there are some people who are just solving this and you can build a community that can help you towards that moving hmm. so that community my f- friends and they or like my mentors are i got that mentors hmm. so like my grandpa was a mentor for me the hmm. first mentor i got in this technical field hmm. so he gave me that mindset just fail because electronics hmm. never works in first go yeah it will like blast or something like it will be having mm-hmm. cracks downs and so many things so i got from there ki it will not work mm. it will be not working in first go not in second but you would be getting some output at the end that's really nice so that mindset really helped you through see the end of everything and now you find yourself doing engineering in polaris taking up gsoc but coming from a very diverse background you tried a lot of things but you came to engineering wasn't it scary for you like you you're into such a new space everybody here must have know something about engineering coding and you find yourself coming from a very odd place 
was it scary was it different how did you deal with that it was not scary because i was working with hardware electronics mm. then i came in a perfect way of iot mm. in iot we see a bit of code but mainly we have to work with circuits so i just copy okay. paste the codes <laughs> so i just look at okay how these outputs are coming when i my senses need what output i just look over there but mm. i never try to write that code or just uh, that time it was not possible for me mm. uh, eighth or ninth class student just mm. writing a code for hardware or uh, some iot senses mm. so i just look over there and i just saw ki oh there's something Hmm. behind the code who is writing these things and making the my sensors working hmm. then i got to know about coding and then it become a place where i can learn it's not scary now hmm. but at that time it was a Back scary in your eighth, nine. Uh, yeah when i was hmm. working with iot because iot has a simple pro- uh, process like zero and one hmm. that uh, it would be working hmm. if you gave a correct output so when you when you already knew about iot and everything back yes. in 9th 10th so when you took up engineering was it easier for you to pick up on things so engineering has many fields hmm. so here i am particularly in ai ml hmm. and for that i don't think iot has a is iot is a completely different field hmm. it has some part of coding that gave me the exposure part hmm. nothing else about that like hmm. it's a completely different field and what i am currently pursuing it's have a completely different way to move on hmm. and getting different perspective at the end both are making a problem to be solved okay. that's the thing they are combining combining him. but then of course learning new things coming here you know you knew some things but you had to learn a lot more things and that scares people if you think about it yes. uh, how did you deal with that challenge if you are fearless hmm. that means you are an engineer <laughs> like <laughs> engineers uh, uh. don't have the feeling of like failing hmm. uh, like your product will not work hmm. mainly the engineers don't feel okay this don't works hmm. i have that attitude hmm. everybody is like if you see most of the engineers are there hmm. who are solving the problem because hmm. engineering is only the field i i knew like mm. maybe there is something i else than this but i knew that they are the people mm. who are going to solve some problem that actually exist for us and mm. for everybody who is seeing us like you know this can be an edit on instagram for engineers motivation engineers so are like, somebody who are fearless nice ha uh, yeah like people seeing engineers they are doing engineering mm. then they are doing different things mm. but they are not actually they they are doing if you see they they want to be someone who is solving a problem hmm. engineering is about solving the problem not dealing with just making some infra or this hmm. people Maybe. have some different emotional problems they are also problem hmm. and when a engineer become some doctors they they think like why this happens <laughs> but they are solving the problem hmm. engineering is made for solving the problem yeah okay. i think so you are redefining saying that engineering is done if you love problem solving and not really to you know as people usually say if you don't know anything just do engineering it's not really like ha huh, it's I not like, huh. you are the person who is pursuing engineering are the smartest person on this hmm. earth who is just solving for this generation or humans hmm. nobody is doing like if you they are serving i am not saying they are hmm. something but they are serving they are very good hmm. they are building a good society but to empower that society to provide next gen tools engineers are that person i'm so glad you're doing engineering you seem to have the perfect mindset to be doing it well uh, then gsoc came and yeah. you being the engineer how did you look at gsoc uh how how did you see is it was a challenge for you was it like uh, something you had to do how did you look at gsoc if we connect with the problem solving and like problem has a solution so for before we identify a problem we need some research mm. around the problem so same thing i follow like these are the core concept everybody should follow to mm. discuss what why and how we are doing the things mm. so i firstly go around what is this so i mm. got a idea about that then why i need to be a if i am an engineer why i need this to be solved hmm. so i go for that answer then i go for how the how this can be done hmm. then i get a clear way a road map that i can do follow along the line ki these are the main purposes i can work on this 
then i started my journey with jisok that was mm-hmm. like core concept for me but obviously again this will also not be a very linear path uh, you decided to do jisok or aapne jisok kar li aisa to nahi hoga you would have a lot of challenges and how did you what were those challenges how did you deal with them walk us through that as well so the mainly challenge i faced was the over selection if mm-hmm. you are but technology was a bit difficult because finding a something that perfectly aligns with you hmm. is there is no, nothing ideal but hmm. we have to find the perfect one so you talked about problem solving so i'm very interested to know what organization you chose and why because you are such a problem solver what was that so intriguing about that problem for you to solve so i choose around data hmm. because i'm pursuing ai hmm. and at the end mainly data is the fuel for ai you listen this <laughs> quote a lot yeah. and so to to ask that i found some orgs that research based i love research hmm. and looking on my home labs hmm. i love labs so research hmm. is the perfect thing i can be going moving hmm. forward along that and data was the fuel hmm. so i just combined the things and then i found some data related orgs hmm. that are uh, moving towards the research part they mm. want someone who can work with them in the research projects mm. because if you see my college is very good at tech mm. and if techie is researcher mm. it would be a super power something like that honest on answer okay were okay. you more happy that you solved the problems in your org or that you cleared gsoc for me the like gsoc is a not a competitive program it's mm. a just a program to bring people in open source and explaining the values of open source hmm. so it was a happy moment you are getting some stipend hmm. you are working you are actually working to solve some problem hmm. and you are getting paid so hmm. it was good for me but yeah when i talk with mentors hmm. and i realize yeah this is the problem that actually is not benefiting someone hmm. if it been solved there would be someone who can easily make some other stuffs and he would be not facing this again hmm. that's why that like currently my org has some manual parts mm. like they don't run on automation so they the, my project is also about mm. that yeah okay. i have to automate some stuff that's really nice priyanshu talking to you i realize that you know you have a very systematic thinking and you know, a very ground based level of understanding that this is why i want to do engineering these are my values and you apply that across even now when you mm. talked about winning the reason i asked that is that for you problem solving is so much important than it's a competition or mm. whatever it is right what helped you develop this mindset or uh, what helped you in this journey to think like this so like and after 12 uh, like 12th exam uh, there was a exam mm. named nda <laughs> okay. uh, so so it's it's really good to have mm. if somebody is watching just try once you will get to know many different things mm. just try because if you see na the officer has a like personality mm. everybody loves mm. why they have if you try to go about that what why how mm. so you next next question would be why they have this type of mm. so once you check that's not due to their rank or mm. something like that they have that officer like qualities mm. olqs 16 olqs mm. and if you have you are the person that society will love you mm. and not have that uh, negative sense towards mm. you they would be looking okay he is our something we are finding for mm. if you are doing great or no i don't think mm. but that qualities brings you the humbleness mm. and there's a lot six if you read about that 16s mm. so i love that 16 qualities they build this core concepts mm. if you are humble with someone mm. how to treat how to greet like they have everything mm. so that's why they are very organized structured I think what I would take away from your story like and also to the viewers you know sometimes we do certain things it doesn't work out and we feel like this is the end of the world but see you did NDA it didn't work out but you have such a nice mindset and personality that came through that is also helping you in you know your own engineering journey at Polaris or uh, when you did GSOC I think that's a very important take away I would at least take away from this and it was really nice talking to you but before I let you go let's do something fun and wrap this up I have a few questions for you never have I ever and let's see if you are also having fun or only being a serious engineer okay 
Okay. Never have I ever skipped class to finish a coding assignment. No, I skipped some classes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Priyanshu is also having fun, guys. Never have I ever copied a code without understanding it. No. I ever. I uh, try. Firstly, just I try with when I get an error. Na, the error part is most important. Today's time, like mm. when you are having AI, AI can give you small errors. Mm. But at a point, it will hallucinate. Like you get an error, it will give you some code. Mm. You paste. You run. Next time you get another error, and when you're going to solve that error, you will g- face that previous one. <laughs> so t- you will be f- like get in a loop, yeah. and then your system will be a mess. Mm-hmm. You have to clean everything because now now AI can't help. So best thing I know ki when AI or something you get in this type of situation to exit from this is Stack Overflow. There are person who help community mm-hmm. just go. go for that community part you will get to know more things <laughs> then you made my next question irrelevant because i was asking you never have i ever used chat gpt to debug a code uh, have you uh not in that sense hmm. but uh try to ask ki how this raised because if you hmm. don't know na ki why this raised hmm. then you can't even if you go to solve that hmm. that's that's hmm. that's simple you will solve that error hmm. but that don't makes you sense hmm. because next time you don't have the idea to how to deal with the next error never ever ever told my parents coding is chill when it's burning you on the inside ah uh, if you see <laughs> uh, my parents don't understand this things like they oh, don't okay. know about coding like hmm. my grandpa was that much but hmm. there is a f- behind story we can discuss hmm. later so hmm. my parents are not as much educated if i say particularly hmm. so they don't understand about coding i am the person who is helping them hmm. i am doing this thing to explaining in some layman languages mm-hmm. and terms so i can't suggest something on this like yeah but it's really inspiring you come from that background and mm-hmm. you're already so knowledgeable in it that's really nice okay last question never ever ever considered quitting during a breakdown no like i have win or learn concept no, there is mm-hmm. nothing quitting like go you would be having zero or one you will be like doing that thing you would be getting a positive impact or you would be something learning from that and going somewhere else to apply that i think that summarizes that's what that's what the whole podcast was about <laughs> yes. thank you so much priyanshu it was lovely talking to you thank you for sharing such an inspiring journey and all the very best for your future thank you <laughs>